Hi guys and welcome to our best team of the season video by myself Bateson87. This is where we pick one individual team of the season player which is of reasonable value as well. Obviously the team of the season prices this this so far this week have been all over the shop. Ilicic, if you guys saw the video of Ilicic, I made the video before Zwayback, uh, but then Zwayback put his live as well and I didn't know he was making one. So obviously his price was very, very different but still worth the coins anyway. Today we're doing it on a cheap Argentinian, um, Argentinian it is, yeah, there's actually a few team of the season Argentinians in here, there is the um, well, the, there's, a, there's a right back there's a centre back, and I think there's a few more, but there's a lot of special cards, it's not a cheap team, it's quite expensive, but it's not the best possible Argentina team, that's something I need to point out because I will be doing that come the end of the team of the season, so if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below, if we're trying to hit up 5,000 likes that'd be absolutely brilliant, and guys subscribe, if you're not subscribed already, so one more thing guys, I'm going to do I'm going to do it I've got a second channel up and running for app games, for pairs, for every other game apart from FIFA console. And you guys definitely need to go and check it out. There is a link down below. And guys, go and subscribe. Check out the Clash Royale content which I put on there. And if you're not interested in that, don't bother. But if you are interested in other games, you're interested in myself a little bit more, and want to see what else I play, feel free to go and subscribe to that channel and show some love to the latest video. So guys, let's get on and build the team. Now, I said it was actually a cheap Argentina team. We start off in the goalkeeper position with uh, the man of match, Joe Hart. I think presumably from the last Real Madrid, um, the Real Madrid first leg game. So his price has gone up. He was quite rare when I bought him as well. In the centre-back position in the middle, we don't go with anyone English. But we do go with an Argentinian uh, from also Manchester City, if I can set it up there. And it is in form Otamendi. Very, very solid um, centre-back in-game. He's alright in real life, actually, as well. A bit sporadic compared to how I thought it would be when he first joined. In the centre-back position on the left-hand side, right-hand side, though, we do go with the team season Panola. 81 physical, 71 pace, 75 physical, and 78 dribbling. Not bad for a centre-back, actually. In the right-back position, we go with a strong link to him, which is Buffarini team of season as well. Um... I think this guy goes for about 23k, so I want to try out these cards because presumably I won't get my hands on them again. In the left back position, we go with a hero, Monzon Silver card, uh, 79 pace, 72 dribbling, 80 physical. This guy used to be ridiculous back in the day of a brilliant long shot. Me and Itani used to love him back when he was in the Serie A, uh, but now the card has been nerfed like really, really badly. So in the centre midfield position, guys, we go with three decent centre mids. The first one on the left hand side, uh, we do go with Inform Biglia, who is a go to one when you get him in the draft and a Serie A centre the mid very very good on the right hand side we do go the 85 rated Di Maria drop down from a cam and then in the CM we do go with the best Argentinian centre midfielder in my uh, my opinion defensively brilliant attacking brisk brilliant and it is uh, Perez from Valencia very very good centre midfielder and I think you do see a, clip, a few clips from him as well in the cam position guys we do go with the person who this team's around it is against the uh, team of season Soz Souza, uh, 81 pace, 81 shooting, 89 passing, very, very good playmaker, 86 dribbling and 78 physical. Got a decent uh, shot as well. Um, four star weak foot, two star skill moves. I think that is him. I could be totally incorrect on that, but... It might be three star, four star actually, but he has got a decent shot with either foot. His free kick stats are insane. If you guys want to go and have a look on Foothead or Footways, go and check out his in-game stats of his free kicks, nothing else like that, as he is brilliant. So to finish off the rest of the team, guys, we're going to go with two superstar strikers. We've got rid of every version of Aguero because we are waiting for the BPL team of season, which hopefully is dropping today. Uh, we are going with the informed Tevez on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, finish off, guys, we are going with legend Crespo, um, as he is a, le well, he's a legend card, isn't he? he's the best, uh, one of the best Argentinian cards on the game. Messi misses out. Zanetti misses out, a lot of people do miss out, but then again, we have got a solid team anyway, and I wanted to uh, basically show you what Sozo is, Soza, is it Soza? Soza is like, uh, very good, but I've enjoyed playing with him for the last couple of games, um, four or five games actually, because everyone was rage quitting after going one or two goals up, which is insane, um, but a very solid player, if you guys want to go and pick him up, go and pick him up now, as he probably is going to be at his cheapest point now until the new team season's come into pact, and yeah, hopefully you guys have some good luck later on today with BPL team season, if it is out, um, if not, it could be something else. So, yeah, hopefully it's BPL team season anyway because I've got loads of videos to plan and uh, hopefully get them made by Saturday and Sunday. So, guys, do like rating, subscribe if you're not, and we'll be back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy. So, guys, one of the positives of using Sosa in that cam position is you don't want to pace abuse with him. He's not that type of cam. He has got 81 pace, which is pretty decent, but it's not the fastest. So, uh, as long as you dribble with him, a few times he gets into the area, he slows down quite a lot, but he's got nice dribbling and a nice finish with his uh, right and left foot, actually. He did finish a few chances uh, for me the rest of the team absolutely brilliant but it was around mainly Souza but Pinola, Pinola was brilliant the silver centre back and also Buffarini as well in the right back position two very solid Argentinian um, Argentinian team seasons there was actually one more I'm just thinking about it now actually there was one more I think 
Yeah, there was a CDM on there. There's a CDM Argentinian guy who I could have put in CDM and that that or CM. Um, that was daft to me because I would have liked to try him out as well. Um, very, very good. Like the Argentinian squad at the end of team season is going to look absolutely ridiculous. Potentially, Aguero could be jumping on in there. By the time you watch this video, Aguero might have got a team of season card already. Um, got team of the year, um, Messi already. It's going to be absolutely nuts. And still no room for that legend Crespo. Hence why I used him in this one. Tevez was absolutely brilliant. Crespo, brilliant. Buffarini, brilliant. The midfield. Pe Perez, though, Perez standout player, but Sosa, good on the dribble, good at the finish, brilliant at passing, free kicks, I was hoping f to get loads of free kicks in these games where I was playing, um, but unfortunately didn't get any free kicks, I wasn't able to test out his free kicks, but the stats and his stance did look very, very good um, in uh, in another video I watched of someone else doing free kicks for him, but um, as you can see, dribbling, finish, very, very good. Um, brilliant player. If you guys have got the spare coins and want a cheap team of season player, um, this is now the time to buy them. They're going to be the cheapest point um, unless it's like some shady lightning rounds before the new team of season does get released. Um, but I enjoy playing with this Argentine team. Might even do some more. Potentially... With team of the season BPL guys, I can't imagine there being any cheap team of the season players apart from the defenders. So more likely, I'm not going to do any videos around them. Probably, actually, I might do, but more more towards the expensive ones. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, I like it. I very very much appreciate it. Get on the team of the season hype for BPL. Hopefully, coming later on today. And guys, subscribe, comment, like the video, and I'll catch you guys later on today with another video of team of the season.